Well, grills are the perfect summer accessory. They can be dangerous. And according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, about 16,000 people go to the emergency room because of grilling accidents. My God, 16,000. So a member of our Fox family is lucky to be alive and with us this morning after an incident at his house. Uh, he's sharing his story in hopes of saving lives. And we do want to give you a little bit of a warning. Some of the photographs that we can show uh, might bother you a little bit. Good fortune, gratitude, appreciation. These are all words that best describe what our colleague Eric Smith is feeling right now. And for good reason. Back on July 5th, he almost died after a freak incident at his home. Eric, who has worked here at Fox for 24 years, suffered second degree burns after his propane grill malfunctioned big time. It's a moment, of course, he'll never forget. And as traumatic as it was, it's the actions of his wife and his children, Bria and Brendan, that still move him to tears. Had it not been for their quick thinking and that of his daughter's boyfriend, Colin, the man who basically keeps us on the air, might not be here. I mean, you know, I think... Oh my God, it's so great to say Eric is with us. Mm -hmm. I'm great today. I'm so happy to be here yeah. and, and be <laughs> with bet. you guys today. How does it feel? I mean, I know it's hard to watch what happened. Yeah, I, uh, it's hard to watch and, and think about my family and what they've gone through for the last few weeks. But I mean, yeah. I, you know, I, I feel incredibly fortunate and it was a really bad situation, obviously, but I feel yeah. incredibly fortunate to be here, to be in as good a shape as I'm in. You know, it could have been much worse than what I went through. If you don't mind. Okay, this was what, July the 5th? July the 5th, yeah. So almost three weeks ago and it's amazing to be in a burn unit for a few days after that and yet here I am back to work yeah. and, and you know uh, let's go through it so July 5th that kind of st we're still the kind of fourth of July weekend yeah you're doing the burgers and weenies and stuff on the grill yeah I, you know I love to cook outdoors we have a smoker we have a gas grill we have a blackstone so on the weekends that's my job my wife Jen she cooks during the week I cook on the weekend so I had made some ribs on the smoker the day before so that Monday Kids actually had to work. It was just the two of us, Jen and I, at yeah. home. And we had a great day outside, you know, enjoyed the pool, you know, just a beautiful day. And it was time for dinner. And it was just burgers and dogs, you know, July, you know, 4th of July kind of typical stuff. So, um, like I always do, I lit the grill to preheat it. Um, it lit like normal. I put the burners on high. I went inside to get the food. Uh, came out about five, 10 minutes later. And it was only 200 degrees. And I mean, it should have been like 600 right. degrees. So I opened the lid and it was lit. It was lit, but barely, like the propane, it was, there was barely a flame. And I thought to myself, well, I had filled the tank two days before, so I knew I wasn't running out of propane. So my thought was maybe I didn't open the handle on the tank all the way, because it looked like there wasn't enough propane to get it hot. So I squatted down and opened the doors underneath the grill to look at the tank. And when I put my hand on the handle, it was beyond ice cold. Mm -hmm and immediately went through my mind was that there was some sort of leak. And before I could even react, when I put my hand on the handle, I just heard a rush of propane come at me and then milliseconds, like nothing but like a wall of flames. And then that's all I remember until I was in my daughter's car on the way to the hospital. How much of your body was in flames then? Well, that was the really one of the very uh, lucky parts about this. It was only the parts of my body that didn't have clothing on. So my face was burnt first degree only, thankfully. My arm, my left arm uh, and my both my legs from below my knees that. down, you can see some of the pictures. Yeah. Um, they, they were second degree. There was some concern when I was first in the burn unit up at Lehigh Valley Hospital, and they were fantastic, by the way. Um, th there might be some third degree, but it turned out to all be second degree. And that's when, you know, that was really good fortune because that means they're gonna heal on their own. And, mm -hmm. and what do you remember? I, <laughs> From the time that it happened till the, till the time I was in my daughter's car, nothing other than I do briefly remember looking up and seeing the flames. My, our grill was on a, like in a patio like in a, a, with an overhang. And I remember seeing the flames like touching the, the roof of, the, of our garage. But you're out there by yourself in the yard, but the kids are back in the house now? Yeah, what, what happened so how was- how did they know? I'll, <laughs> so I'll try not to ugly man cry on this. <laughs> um, 
Uh, my son's room is closest to where I was outside. He heard me yelling my wife's name, oh and he went running downstairs. And my my daughter's boyfriend, uh, Colin, uh, yeah. he was. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Sorry. I saw the picture. As long as I don't look at the pictures, I'll be okay. <laughs> uh, Colin was outside, but he didn't see it happen. So he heard it. He went running in. They all came down and found yeah. me, and they basically just scooped me up and got me in the car. They didn't want to wait for a hospital. We live in Boyertown, but not in town. It's kind of rural where we live. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to wait for an ambulance, so they just put me in the car and took me to Pottstown Hospital. And, and they, took, they evaluated me and quickly realized I needed to go you know, to the burn unit. Do you have yeah. any idea what went wrong or what? No, we talked to a few. Well, my wife, Jen, has reached out to a few of the propane companies in our area, and oh they have God. a few theories. <laughs> you got me crying. <laughs> um, <laughs> they have a few theories, but no, we don't really know. If you went and looked at the grill right now, it's, it's melted, but it's intact. The hose is intact. There's no obvious sign. You know, some of the... A lot of people have said, oh, we've heard stories of, like, a squirrel chews through the hose and, and, and something like that. There's no sign of that. The tank looks like it's intact. Obviously, it looks like it was on fire, but it looks right. intact. So, no, I don't tr really know what happened. Um, you know, for me, what I wanted to do with this is we all take it for granted. I mean, I've been using my grill forever, and I don't ever, you never think about it. You just light it, you cook your food, and you go about your business. Well, like and, we said, 16,000 people go through this kind of stuff every year. Exactly. Be careful. Exactly. What and, did you learn about yourself and your relationship with your kids? Uh, um, They're good people. Yeah. Um, you raised two good people. Uh, and I and I certainly didn't do it alone. Jen, this picture, sorry. Um, Jen had surgery over a month ago, and she's been out of work, and she's her 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 she's right-handed, and her cat her hand's been in a cast. So, what she went through, putting her recovery on hold to take care of me, yeah. is bond, beyond anything I can describe. And then yeah, it is. And. Um, you know, my daughter taking me to the emergency room, holding my hand in the emergency room when I've never been more scared in my life. Yeah. And then my son, 18-year-old um, son, Brendan, changing my dressings because Jen, Jen's got, you know, only has her left hand and she couldn't do it herself. And the first week was incredibly, incredible pain, pain like you hear about with yeah, burns, yeah. pain like I'd never had in my life. And so I couldn't help for those first few days because the pain was too much and my son being there changing the dressings so i have a, so much to be thankful for sure. with my family i couldn't thank them i can't i can't you know say i can't fully show them how much i appreciate yeah. them I well we're, we're, we're also know. thankful that you're still i was with walking us. in the newsroom and i saw you know i saw you I'm like whoa you're, you're here <laughs> yeah. and you look great if you well, looked at you, you you couldn't tell what you've been through. yeah I, little link little pink little pink hue on my face fresh you know, like skin. I said, all fresh skin you know my face was all first degree burns but i had blisters um you know scabs all over my lips right. pretty much most of what you see on my face is all new skin well it looks great but don't do it again yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, well, you well know, here's okay. the thing if i were you <laughs> i would be, i'd take a break from the grill and propane tank well, you're about to go on va what are you about to do i'm about to go on vacation we have we have a travel trailer and that has two 30 pound propane tanks oh, on it. it and you're going to be back working with them um, I, I don't have a choice. And Just, actually, what I did was, you know, you guys know me. I'm, I'm not someone like, so what I did was, I told you, we have a Blackstone grill. This last Sunday, I'm like, I got to get back on the horse. And my family was like, we'll light it for you. You stay okay. away. You did it? I did it. Right. But what did I did, it. but what I did to the point of all of this and why I wanted to do this, what I did that time, and I'll do every time moving forward that I never did before, is I inspected the hoses, I checked the tank, check I it. checked it all yeah, out. Please. Because obviously, I know I don't want to ever go through this again. So well, hopefully, everyone just, you know, pay attention to your equipment. You know, check it out every time. Yeah. Don't Be take careful. it for granted. Thank you. Thank for you for telling the story. story. It's important. You're welcome. Uh, we'll be right back.